Okay, just got back from my first cruise in the 1974 Alfa Romeo Spider Veloce and I get it. I get the hype now, I get what everyone in the forums and in the Facebook group are talking about and why they're so passionate about these cars. I finally got it into fourth and fifth gear on the highway and it's pretty fun. It's, it's pretty freaking fun to drive, I'll say that. Um, yeah, so uh, if you haven't had a chance, get, get in a Spider and, uh, and drive one because it's probably been one of my most enjoyable driving experiences uh, to date. Um, and I've only had uh, maybe 20 miles in the car so far. So a little bit of a recap. I uh, got the car uh, right before Christmas, December 23rd. A uh, guy looking to unload it quickly thought I got a smoking deal on a car that uh, under the hood was in great shape. Uh, and uh, I actually didn't know that for sure at the time. It just looked and sounded pretty good, so I took a chance on it. Uh, but the body was a mess. Uh, it was pretty disgusting with the amount of rust that had accumulated, uh, especially towards the back end of the car. Um, so I, I felt comfortable though doing body work. I definitely wasn't comfortable um, doing major um, engine components or uh, serious repairs under the hood on this vehicle. So I was kind of crossing my fingers there. I actually got the car trailered home uh, after it arrived here. Uh, shortly after I got in touch with the guy who sold it to me, who I got in touch with the previous owner and had sent me a binder full of information and multiple manuals for this car. Um, basically its entire life of ownership uh, was uh, detailed in this binder. Uh, the, the previous owner had had the car for you know, upwards of 20, 25 years. So um, that really put my mind at ease because there was thousands of dollars poured into this car since uh, about 2017. Um, really nothing that needed to be addressed mechanically on the car, thankfully. So I went right at it with the cosmetics. I patched holes. Um, I, I began to strip paint. Uh, I, I tried my best to smooth out the lines on the car and to really bring it back to just its original shape uh, because it just didn't have its shape anymore. I also spent some time on the bumpers and the chrome and the emblems just trying to breathe some life back into them as well as the tires and the rims. Um, and eventually uh, I decided to paint the car myself as well. Uh, I'd only done that once before so I was definitely taking a chance. Uh, but I figured worst case scenario, I could end up taking it to a body shop and it would just cost me a little bit more for them to remove whatever I screwed up. But um, overall, I'm really happy with how the paint turned out. So I definitely had to learn along the way. Uh, there were lots of hiccups, uh, like the base coat got wet and that basically ruined the first base coat. Uh, the clear coat was really difficult to finally get a nice um, clear shine to. I had to go through and I, I probably eight different rounds uh, of sanding the car from 1200 up to 3000 grit plus the buff and it's finally got a really nice uh, color and shine to it. It's not perfect. Uh, there are definitely lots of imperfections on the car still. Um, there's you know, a pimple on the hood, um, lots of uh, kind of the bottom rocker panels of the car have issues still uh, where I was, I was working with Bondo. Um, so it's, it's not perfectly smooth, the lines on the car. I, I, I did replace the carpet in the trunk, that looks eh, so-so. I actually replaced the top as well, that was also kind of a scary job, wasn't sure how that was going to turn out. I definitely didn't want to ruin the brand new top, uh, but it was pretty straightforward, even with pretty terrible directions. I think I did a pretty good job and uh, yeah, really happy with how the top came together as well. Overall, I think the car looks night and day uh, from when I started. <laughs> So today, February 24th, was actually my first opportunity to take the car out here in Michigan and uh, uh, more than just a trip around the block anyways. About 50 degrees today, so uh, plenty warm, especially with how cold it's been lately, um, to get the top down and uh, actually take the car out for a real spin and it was a blast. Uh, I, I love this car. You know, the initial plan was to sell it soon which I'm probably still going to do. I'm still going to sell it soon, but you know, after that first spin, I, I really want to enjoy driving the car for at least a little while first, uh, at least into the early spring. 
I do want to keep doing this. I do want to keep uh, trying to breathe life into old obscure cars. I do eventually want to get into welding and metal work as well. I know that's you know, a big part of this uh, restoration process and that is probably what I'm getting the biggest you know, uh, negative feedback is that I'm not um, actually welding the metal pieces that I'm putting on the car. But uh, you know, I'm learning, I'm still very new at this. Um, that's, this is the DIY guy channel and it just kind of gives some insight on that. I figure I'm just a regular guy. I've never worked professionally with cars at all. And that's the bulk of what you see in tutorials online um, is advice from professionals, which is obviously extremely helpful and where I get the, the majority of my information from. But I also like to see how the complete amateurs deal with these different over-the-counter products and different um, repair uh, jobs because they're likely to make the same mistakes I am and uh, there's a lot of information that just is obvious to the professional that doesn't come second nature to somebody who doesn't do this on a you know, day to day basis. Um, so I, I love doing this job, it is so rewarding right now especially after getting back from that first trip uh, to kind of exhale and say alright the car looks good, it runs good. I'm absolutely stoked about that. So I'm probably going to take advantage of the sunlight and drive it a little bit more this afternoon um, and then uh, cover it up until uh, we have the next beautiful day. I uh, appreciate everyone for following along with me and I'll definitely uh, continue to capture uh, whatever I decide to take on as my next project. Mm -hmm.